What's up, everybody? This is Bruce, aka Geektacular, with you once again here, and uh, another quick unboxing video today. I'm just going to be looking at the uh, brand new Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn PS3 Collector's Edition right here. Just got this yesterday, just came out. Uh, so just thought that I would kind of show you uh, what all you get with the uh, with the new FF14 ARR Collector's Edition. So this is the uh, box. Um, this is actually a sleeve on the outside here. So um, it's got you know standard advertisement of what's in the packaging, all that kind of good stuff. Um, barcode and all the fine print there. It says that on the side. Um, but you can obviously uh, take the sleeve off. It's kind of like a Star Wars kind of shot there. So without the sleeve, uh, the cover is identical, uh, as you can see. So there's the sleeve, and there's the actual cover. Same artwork. Um, you can zoom in a little bit. It looks really awesome. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Very Final Fantasy-esque. See, so yeah, it looks real cool. Um, and this is actually, the side of it um, looks fairly similar as well without the PS3 uh, on the on the edge there. And the back is just straight black with the Square Enix logo down here. Um, but this is like kind of a hard, um, hard cardboard box here. So let us open this up. So we open up the box. Uh, first thing we got in here is a book. So this is the collector's edition art book that it comes with. Um, and it's got, um, it basically has kind of concept art for, uh, it's called the art of Eorzea. Um, I think it has concept art for like all the races, all the classes, um, all the jobs. So yeah, and then each each uh, class has its own page with some concept art uh, for just kind of the general class, but also a lot of the weapons that that class utilizes. Um, uh, some things about like trade craft tools and stuff like that. Um, and for jobs, uh, they've got some different kind of like variants of the character art, plus some of the tools that they use as well. So it looks to be, let's see how many pages this is, um, looks to be about 80 pages long. So, and this is a dust jacket. The cover below the dust jacket is identical. So, there's the collector's book. Um, so, right under that, we have the actual game itself. Um, so this is the PS3 version, uh, and I've already taken the plastic off of it, but uh, this is um, what the collector's edition box looks like. Get that on the side. And then inside, inside you have the manual, which uh, on the back page has the registration code for this um, for for your particular copy, uh, and that's what you use to actually register it when you create an account and all that stuff. So that code can only be used once. Um, so once you use the game, just like any other MMO, uh, you can't really resell it to anyone else because they won't be able to activate it unless they already have uh, the game 
activated on an account. So, um, here is the game disc right there, and then we flip that over. There is the waning of the sixth sun collector's edition Blu-ray disc, um, which has some uh, some collector's edition cinematics and stuff like that on it. I uh, haven't actually watched it yet, but uh, hopefully it's it's cool. So yeah, that is the collector's edition of the actual game itself for PS3. Um, then we have this uh, pack of kind of like art cards. Uh, so they're kind of like postcard size um, pieces of art. It looks like there's um, about five of them in there. So that's pretty cool if you are if you like art prints or into uh, collector's items and stuff. Um, and I'll maybe go ahead and crack that open just so you can kind of see um, what all is in there. Uh, I actually haven't uh, opened this myself yet, so this will actually be a, uh, a surprise to me as well. Um, so, this is what we got going on there. And on the back of each one is the same, it just has the logo, it's uh, black. So yeah, those are the uh, collector cards there, collector art cards. And below that, at the very bottom of the box, is the Sounds of Eorzea soundtrack. Um, it looks like that it has six tracks here. Um, and again, I took the plastic off this too already, but... That's what it looks like, just a lot of uh, a lot of black there. So yeah, that uh that looks pretty cool. And then last but not least, you have your Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn Authenticator. Um so you use that to generate a one-time key for whenever you log into the game. If you choose to register that with your Square Enix account, um, basically it adds a new layer of security so that even if somebody gets your password somehow to your account, um, then they won't be able to log in without the unique randomized key found on that, um, on that device. And it changes about every 30 seconds or so, like most RSA keys. So, um, yeah, if, if somebody gets your password, they still won't be able to do much of anything with it without having that key in their hand. So, um, very nice for, um, for MMOs. Um, if, you're not, if you're not like a WoW player or something like that, don't have any experience with authenticators, um, I would highly, recommend, uh, I would highly re recommend enabling it or um, actually even getting a new one if you don't have the collector's edition. Uh, because it adds a very important layer of security to your account and nobody likes getting hacked, you know so There you have it um, The PS3 Final Fantasy Realm Reborn Collector's Edition So I uh, hope you like that and uh, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.